My name is uh, Fred McNeil. Uh, I'm a landscape painter, and I do other interesting things. Uh, maybe uh, I might be known as a contemporary American. What motivates me is it, basically I, I'm, I'm a big fan of su subject matter. It means so much to me. And the challenge, and I always want to do something different. I want to be different. I don't want to paint like everybody else. And uh, I have sort of my own way. It basically, even though I went to uh, Scott Carby School of Art, I'm self-taught. Because a lot of things, you know, you do learn. I've learned myself. Reading and anything to do with art, I'm into. So over the years, I've accumulated quite a bit of information for myself. So I'm just uh, as old as I am, and I'm in my early 80s. I'm still learning, and uh, I just love it. I, I always knew I was an artist. Uh, how, ca how else can I answer that? I was maybe not a good artist. I always say every five years, go back and look at something you did five years ago, and you can really see how, how you progressed. And not only painting, but any kind of a uh, uh, an endeavor that you might have. Go back and look what you were doing five years ago. And it kind of, you know, gives you an idea of how you're progressing. I'm always looking for a concept of the work, not just another painting. It has to, it, I will not do a work that I'm bored with. I want something different. I want to be challenged. And, uh, I want to suffer through it. <laughs> and I think that coming to, uh, I think the painting is, is, it's very hard to describe. It's something that comes deep, deep from deep inside. And to really get past the beginning of a painting to the point where it's like a math problem. You know, you struggle and struggle and struggle with it, and then all of a sudden, you see it. And so, when that point comes, it's, it's a beautiful thing. When you see the yes comes, it's going to work. You know, a, a, you know it's, it's going to be OK. You know, a lot of people think painting is fun. They often say, oh, he's got a little studio, and he just has a good time in that studio. But it is work. I mean, it's, it, it, these things don't happen by themselves. And it's when, when it's finished, I, I often wonder how I did this. And I look up in the sky and I say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> because I don't think it comes from me. It, it can't. Because I, I just sometimes say, I can't, I don't believe I've done this. And I think these are uh, happy moments. Some of the artists that inspired me, uh, I think Tom Nicholas is one of the best in the country. He just, he has this mystery to his work. And it, it, it just, is just, it, he's a contemporary and uh, still painting. And, uh, but uh, I, th I think quite a bit of Tom, you know. Another artist used to work in Maine. Now he works in, uh, in New Mexico, Lawrence Sisson. I like, I like him. He was pretty much a, a Maine painter, did a lot of just, I just don't know how he did what he did, but you know, the talent that that man had was just terrific. Of course, I like, go back to Rembrandt. I love Rembrandt. I love uh, Sargent for his free, wonderful expressions that he, that he did. And uh, a, real, a real painter, you know, that could visualize something and get it down and be successful. Also, Caravaggio was, went way back with Rembrandt. And uh, I, I can go on and on. And I, I'll look at magazines sometimes. I'll see maybe an art magazine where I'll see a, a painting. And yeah, I don't know who did it. But, and I, I can re remember recently I picked up a magazine. And here's this painting. And it's so simply done. And it was, it, 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 most people would pass it by. But it, it just was so simple and so beautiful. And he, it probably could have been done in an hour, but it just struck me so much. And uh, so, you know, 
along the way you see things and uh, I, I still remember that painting and it, that, you know, it, 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 it's staying with me. I've been a member of the Guild uh, for many years, going way back to the 70s. And uh, it's, it's, it, it, it was a, a thrill when I, got, when I was accepted as a member, a real thrill. And, and you know, the, the Guild always, I, I really, at that time, didn't realize what the Guild meant and its history and uh, the pride that's, that, that lives there. So that's, uh, and to be associated with, with uh, the best and my peers, and uh, just, I don't know, it, it, it is pride that I, that I had. And I could you know, speak very loudly about I was a member of the Guild of Boston Artists. And that's, that name is, is carried a lot of weight, you know, at that time in my life. So, I mean, there's been many more acceptances since then, but uh, the Guild has always been, you know, and I've had a number of shows, especially in the 80s and the 70s, that did very well, more so than I'm doing now. <laughs> but I'm letting the younger people come in and uh, sort of stealing my thunder, you know, and I, it's, it's sometimes I don't have that energy of being, you know, getting on you know, in my life. So, but the Guild is, is, is always, has been the first big thrill and, and, and just that wonderful feeling of pride that uh, comes with a, a membership, you know. So that's, that will never leave me. And uh, I'm still a member and uh, still proud, so. Well, I say, if I don't put a, I, no, I still feel the same way. This feeling will not, never leave me. But if I don't put a mark on a canvas, the day has been wasted. If I won the lottery that day and I didn't put a mark on a canvas, the day is wasted. But that's, that's what it means that I can uh, do what I do.